Jerry was out in a nightclub in Memphis, and he was drinking champagne, and he was partying with some people. And he got a phone call, and uh, somebody said, you need to come to the phone. It, it's for you, and it's Elvis. And Jerry goes in, and he takes the phone call. And Elvis was depressed and unhappy, and Jerry said, don't worry about a thing. I'm going to get in my Rolls Royce. I'm coming there. I'll come and get you, and we will go somewhere, and we'll both be better. Jerry's about half loaded, and he said, well, I, I said I'd go on down there. It was about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. So he pulled up to the gate. Uncle Vernon walked down. He said, Tarp, how you doing, boy? Jerry Lee, you all right? Yeah, yeah, we fine. Well, good to see you, Vernon. He said, open the gate. We're going to go up and see Elvis a minute. Vernon said, sure, I can't do that. Elvis don't want nobody coming in. Made Jerry mad. He said, I've been knowing that boy since he started. Nothing's changed for what I'm concerned. And uh, he had a had a gun laying over on the dash, this big old 45 or something. And so they asked him, said, uh, what are you doing, going in there to kill Elvis? He said, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Just acting crazy and saying crazy stuff. Vernon said, Jerry, I can't open the gate. Jerry Lee said, well, I'll tell you what, we'll be back in a little while. So he backed the car all the way across Ellis Trace Boulevard. He reeled the motor up and put it in drive. So he just took off and rammed the gate. We got all the way up to the house and Jerry jumped out of the car started banging on doors, and every police officer in Shelby County, it looked like they just came out of nowhere. And they were arrested, both of them. 